um, so yeah, reading is important. You know, there's, uh, the great thing is, is that there are thousands of people that have been through the exact same stages. Well, I mean, technically there's like hundreds of thousands that have been through the exact same stages as, as everybody in this room, including me, but there's thousands of people that have actually written about it. And there's hundreds of people that have analyzed other people who have gone through it and written about that as well. So the, you know, if you can sort of amass a sort of set of knowledge of everybody else that has been through similar stages and you can sort of build not necessarily, I mean, patterns is one way of thinking about it, but the, the best way I'd ever heard this put was this guy, Jeffrey Moore, who wrote Je uh, Crossing the Chasm. And, um, and he said sort of models, so things like uh, the, um, the uh, technology um, adoption life cycle um, is a model, which, is, which sort of, it's a, if you imagine this curve, but it's a bell curve instead, and it sort of flows like that, uh, you have different markets that you basically can, can um, uh, adopt technology at different times. You have early adopters that adopt it initially. You, had mid, you have sort of prag, um, uh, early majority that adopts it a little bit later. You have uh, pragmatists that adopt it in the midsection. And then you have laggards which sort of never adopt it or they adopt it years too late. And that's a, that's a curve that every technology flows through. It's a bell curve that, that there's not a single technology in the history of technology that does not go through that same bell curve. It's just sometimes they go through it faster than, than others. So that's a simple model. There's hundreds like it. But what these models do is in the sort of, um, in the absence of data, if you're starting a company or you're looking at the marketplace and you're trying to understand what's going to happen, in the absence of data, sort of historical models give you a pretty good sense of what you should do to participate in that. So um, small example, uh, when the iPad came out, um, you know, the iPad was a fundamentally different device than had ever been seen before in, in, in the enterprise. I mean, there were people that had tried it before, um, tablet computers, but, but the iPad was truly a new way to do computing. And what we decided was that, you know, Steve Jobs is, is a pretty good entrepreneur. He'll probably, you know, try and make this really successful. Like, it's probably pretty straightforward to bet on him making the iPad successful. So we said, well, if the iPad is this new technology platform, and if at the start of new technology platforms in history, the mainframe and the mini computer and the PC, each of these starts of new platforms created the next big companies to, for those who adopted those platforms most rapidly, then we should, most, we should be the fastest one to adopt this new platform that's emerging. And you, if, you, if you went in with no data and you just saw the iPad, it would just look like a really cool new technology that, yeah, we'll get to that when, when it has a lot of adoption and, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work with it at that point. But when you think about it as a pattern of technology adoption, it becomes really, really important to know what things are you going to bet on very aggressively. So that's one thing on crossing the chasm. Um, and there's lots of books. Um, you know, there's, there's great books in, in the enterprise world and the consumer world um, that, that sort of help you, um, you know, uh, you know, find that, that other people have been through this situation also. And how did they respond to that? Because also you'll equally learn all of the wrong ways to solve things and how to, um, and how to go the wrong direction. So uh, what's great is if you can, if you can have all of that um, that you can sort of always lean on as, as information, um, then, uh, then you know, I think you, have, you just increase your odds.